everybody, how's it going? Here's the long-awaited tour of my wife's car, the 2004 Toyota Camry LE. We bought this car in November, had about 132,000 miles on it. Right now it has about 135, going on 136. And we love the car so far. It's been fantastic. We bought it on Craigslist for about $5,000. And we've been really, really happy with it so far. Just been running great. Only a few things wrong with it. And at that time, I did wash and wax it. It was November, though, so it was in the garage. Didn't get a very good view of how the paint looks and everything. But out here, you can tell a lot more about how the condition is. And it's really, really nice. It does have a fair, uh, few dings here and there on the exterior, but really not that big of a deal. Um, it was owned by an older lady before us, and she did hit a few things with it, but really, again, she, it wasn't really that bad. So we can live with a few dings here and there. It does have the uh, window tint, which is nice to have in the summertime. Um, the back window is peeling just a little bit, so we might have to redo that at some point, but really not that bad. The other issue I am trying to fix on it right now is the rear speaker on the passenger side is blown out, so I have to do something with that. And I guess it does take quite a bit of work to replace it. So maybe I can just pop it out a different way and just kind of disconnect it maybe, but uh, we'll see if I can figure that out. Really, uh, if I just disconnect the cable in the back, it'll probably go away, the rumbling noise, and we can probably live with it the way it is. It does have the spoiler on the back, which is kind of nice to have, even though it doesn't really do anything. It's not a performance car, obviously, but uh, it kind of looks cooler and it's nice to have with the extra brake light in the back. We also put new tires on it. One actually did pop right after we got the new tires and thankfully the warranty was on those, those tires so we could just go ahead and go back in and get a new one. Really not a big deal at all. Um, we don't have a new spare for it though, so I'd like to get a new one of those at some point just to have on hand, but really, really not a big deal at all. Uh, these tires should last a long time, knock on wood. And the tent follows through on this side as well. Now coming into the car here, as you can see, it does have the gray interior, which is actually really good for stains, things like that. It really wasn't stained up at all when we got it, but we did take the time to uh, put a little bit of treatment on it, make sure it's nice and clean. It did have these kind of weird aftermarket um, floor mats inside, which I'm not crazy about. I'd like to get the originals for it at some point, but I think they are kind of pricey on, on the internet. And these do just as well. I mean, they're rubberized, so they do help with the all weather. And they actually do uh, sort of fit well in here. I mean, this one could be a little bit better, I guess, but it's really not that bad. Now it does have the original stock stereo system, which is actually really, really good. If it didn't have that blown speaker in the back passenger side of the car, that'd be even better. Again, I'd just like to either replace it somehow if I can pop it out or just take the cable out so it doesn't uh, actually um, make that rumbling noise anymore. I'm not sure if I can do that without affecting both speakers in the back, but if I can, that's gonna be the easiest fix, I think. It is an automatic transmission. I admit I'm kind of a manual snob, but this car really does drive perfectly. I mean, it's not a sports car, obviously, but it just drives right. I mean, it doesn't hunt around for gears, so I'm really happy with how the transmission feels in this car. My wife likes it too, because she's not really a manual transmission person. A few stains up here, here and there, but really not bad at all. Um, again, it was an older lady who had it, so I mean, you expect a stain here or there, but really not that bad. The air conditioning does blow nice and cold, so that's fantastic to see. And the back seat, I don't think it's ever really been used. I mean, this car was a rental car at some point for a couple of years, but uh, the back seat is in really, really good condition. I don't really see any stains or anything, so I, I think this car really didn't see that much use back there. Now, last but not least, here's a mileage check for you. Go ahead and start it up. 135, 583, running fantastic. Idles nice and smooth. Pop the hood for you real quick. We have a 2.4 liter, 16 valve Toyota engine. Uh, I've heard there are some issues with this particular engine, but this one so far has been really, really good to us and hopefully it stays that way. I try to keep up with the oil changes and try to change the coolant fairly frequently, so that should help us out in the long run. We did put a new battery in because the other one was getting a little bit old. It wasn't critically bad, but we thought it'd be a good idea just to be sure it's okay. 
and it doesn't burn any oil at all, which is really, really nice. I had a car that did burn quite a bit of oil and I really wanted to get rid of that car. So it's fantastic to see this one is not an oil burner and runs flawlessly. So very, very thankful for that. And anyway, that's the car. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for your time.